from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it certainly has been a soggy and gloomy day across Acadiana. Most of us easily picking up one to three inches of rainfall, but there were isolated spots that picked up even more than that. Now, most of us relatively quiet at this point early this evening, but there are still some scattered thunder showers out there, and we're going to keep rain chances with us for the better part of this evening. And uh, really, most of the upcoming week, at least to about Thursday, the pattern going to stay somewhat unsettled and a little bit tricky, especially with those temperatures. At as that front is going to kind of get tangled up across the area. So we'll break it all down in just a second. But first, here's a satellite and radar composite. And again, we saw that batch of rainfall push through early this morning. Most of us actually uh, picking up a decent break uh, this afternoon, but still we have scattered uh, showers and thunder showers still building off to our west, say into eastern Texas, and now some of that moving into western Louisiana. So not quite done with the rainfall just yet. We're going to have to fight these showers uh, at least over the next few hours. Now, Power Doppler 3, again, relatively quiet Lafayette on southeastward at this point. You do see a couple showers there over towards the point, Sippermore Point, that is. Uh, but some of the heavier showers, again, setting up more so now north of the I-10 corridor. Again, some decent rainfall here with lightning showing up as we get uh, into Allen Parish, say from Kinder up towards Oberlin, Oakdale as well, really right along that Highway 165 corridor. We'll do some uh, querying here. Uh, see what we got as far as the rainfall coming down at around uh, yeah one to two inch, uh, one to two inches per hour. So uh, probably picking up uh, pretty good amounts of rain there up in Allen Parish in this particular uh, complex of storms pushing eastward. So could extend into Evangeline St. Landry Parish with time. And speaking of St. Landry, uh, you are still dealing with some of those uh, the scattered showers at this point as well. So rain chances in that 60% range or so over the next few hours. Uh, temperatures eventually dropping into the 60s. We'll be in the mid 60s for that overnight low. That's where we're going to start the day tomorrow. A lot of cloud cover, low level clouds and probably some patchy dense fog as well. So keep that in mind and throughout our Monday again that frontal boundary is going to kind of stall out across the area. So that's going to keep a lot of clouds in the forecast and also the potential for a few isolated to scattered showers. Rain chances though no better than around 30 to 40%. But with that front lurking around, it's going to have an impact on our temperatures. The farther north you are, the cooler it's going to be. Further to the south, a little bit warmer. So south of the I-10 corridor, I think most of you get into the lower 70s. Otherwise, the rest of us looks like uh, we're going to be stuck in the 60s uh, for our, our Monday afternoon. Tuesday starts out in the 50s there. And then again, that front doesn't move a whole lot uh, throughout the day on Tuesday. It's still stalled out across the Acadiana. So notice the graph model has uh, Lafayette stuck in the 50s. But again, we are looking at cooler temperatures north of the I-10 corridor, slightly warmer if you're to the south. Again, all of us pretty much in the mid 60s by tomorrow morning. And then notice tomorrow afternoon, Bill Platt, lower 60s, upper 50s there in Alexandria. Warmer south of the boundary, upper 60s to lower 70s. Tuesday is going to start out in the 50s for most of us. And then Tuesday afternoon, it's just going to kind of depend where that front decides to set up. Again, cooler to the north, slightly warmer to the south. In the short term, again, main issue is going to be that fog. I think we do see some patchy, dense fog developing as early as a little bit later on this evening. So keep that in mind. It's going to stick with us for the better part of the night. It definitely will be the densest along the coastal regions as well. So 64 your projected low tonight. Still going to be dealing with some scattered thunder showers out there, mainly for this evening. Most of us quiet after midnight uh, and then for tomorrow. A lot of clouds will go near 70 for that projected high. Few showers possible, but again, your rain chances no better than around 30%. And that's the way it's going to go, at least through Wednesday with again, fluctuating temperatures, depending on what part of Acadiana you are in. Best rain chances of the week arriving on Thursday. Thursday as that front finally pushes south of the area and then we're turning cooler and nicer by the end of the week and heading into the upcoming weekend. Taylor. So there's a silver lining there with those clouds, huh? <laughs> yeah, you just got to get through the next few days, deal with kind of an unsettled pattern, but next weekend definitely looks better than this past weekend. Perfect. Yeah, Sounds no good. Problem. We'll stay with us.